first. How how, did, how are you get how are you getting these deals, Jackson? I've I've, I've seen I've seen the deals, I've seen the content. Uh, you know, I've, I've I've seen the products. Yeah, great question. Um, and I actually have a, a short that I'm going to be posting probably early next week. Really, there's there's five steps to it, right? One, you got to download social media. That's that's the first thing. You got to have a social media presence. Ninety percent of nil deals are social media based. There, ninety percent of them are one off posts where we pay you, we send you product, you make this video, we're done. That's ninety percent of nil deals. Okay, cool. Knowing that, you have to have social media. The the second thing is you have to download and create profiles on these nil marketplaces. So some of my favorite ones are like Mogul, um, Open Doors, Open Sponsorship. Those are the three where I've gotten the most traction. Influencer is a good one too. Um, you know, the, those are some of the ones that I've gotten some traction on. And just create a profile. Doesn't have to be perfect at first, but that's what you got to do. The most important step though is you have to start making content. If people don't know who you are, if you don't have an audience, you're not going to get paid, right? Like this last year, as a freshman red shirt walk on meaning first year in college basketball, not an athletic scholarship, and I've never checked into a collegiate basketball game, I still made five figures in NIL. Right? Like the, So I know this strategy works, and I'm giving it away for free, even though I've spent hundreds of hours perfecting it. Like, my girlfriend will tell you. Like, she gets driven up a freaking wall by how much I talk about it and how long I've spent working on this strategy. So... Third, you got to create content and you have to be completely authentic about the content you create. I have a friend who does mukbang videos, like just her eating crawfish while she's talking about her life as a college basketball player. Millions of views. Phenomenal. It's like, I wish I was that comfortable eating on camera, you know, it, but like that's her, that's her thing. And, uh, you know, she gets a lot of deals from it and, you know, so you got to create content, right? Then I would say once you have that audience, start reaching out to brands. What I did was through Instagram DMs and emails, 50 to 100 different points of contact a week with a number of different brands. I listed out all of my favorite brands, all the ones that I would consider working with, and like I just had a tree of like all the different brands I'd consider working with. And I hit up all of them. Multiple points of contact within the same organization for each brand. So I'd find like their director of, mar director of marketing. I'd find a marketing employee. I'd DM the brand itself. And what happens is, you know, sometimes you'll get a deal from my first ever NIL deal was with a company called Chetty's. They sent me $750 and boxes stacked this high of their cheese crackers. And I made a video of it. They loved it. And, and, and that was cool. You know, 750 bucks just like that. It took me less than a week from the point from when I texted them to the time the money hit my bank account. It was a week, you know? So, I mean, it, it was a pretty quick turnaround. And what happened with other deals was they would just send me product. They say, hey, we love your enthusiasm. Here's some product. I still make content around the product. I treat that as if I got paid to do it. Why? Because I want to show the brand what I can do. I want to show them my appreciation. And I want to give them reason to work with me and actually pay me in the future. Half of the times that I've done that, they've come back and paid me. Half of those times. So, you know, if, I, if 10 brands send me product and I make 10 videos, I get paid for five of them. You know, and then, and then the last step is once you start creating content for these brands, take all that content and put it in an NIL media kit. Now what you do is when you cold outreach to these people, you send them the media kit and say, hey, this is all the work that I've done. These are the numbers. Uh, you know, this is the engagement that I've gotten on this stuff. And then send them two videos, brands that are similar, you know, in a similar industry as that company. Say, hey, this is about what I can do for you and I'm open to suggestions.